Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a base destruction video. Uh, so as always, you guys know what's going on. Uh, we're taking a look at a Town Hall 9 base today, and uh, talking about a few attacks on it. And I think this will be a good video. You guys will learn a lot from it. I learned a lot from it just by watching these attacks and kind of coming to some conclusions and stuff uh, based on what I saw. So, yeah, uh, we'll get to some, to some Town Hall 10 action. I know you guys have really been asking for that, um, but just hold on. We'll have some Town Hall 10 action and some Town Hall 11 action over the weekend. But for today, another Town Hall 9 base, great uh, example of kind of what you should do for an air attack and what you shouldn't do on certain bases. I'm um, taking a look at this base just in general, I guess. You can see the queen is very exposed. The king is kind of guarding her, but if you drop in like your king right here, uh, it'll aggro the enemy queen first. Uh, so a pretty easy queen trade is there if you want it, which opens up a lot of different attacks, one of which is an air attack. And uh, you can see here these air defenses are in relatively you know good positions, pretty spread out around the base. Um, so we're taking a look at a few different plans. Uh, let's go ahead and get into them right away. I could talk more about the base, but I want to... Uh, to focus on something that can apply to many different bases and that's kind of one of the one of the common mistakes you see with air attacks um so the first attacker is going to be j um monies or whatever j moonies however you pronounce it uh you guys have probably seen him on the channel before basically he does a uh, just a queen, a king trade right there, uh, pretty easy for the queen, and then drops down his own queen for a queen walk. He's doing an air attack, so he wants to come in, wall breaker in right here, kind of create the funnel with a baby dragon there, have his queen step up through here, and she'll be able to reach this air defense and this air defense, and get those two taken out, which will give him a pretty good leg up on the base here. So at first glance, that's a pretty good strategy. He deals with the CC troops, obviously, as his queen makes her way on in. So really, um, and then also a zap quake right here. So really, I mean, if you look at what he's getting, these five things, uh, three air defenses, the CC troops, and the queen, for just the investment of his heroes, uh, four healers, and pretty much all his spells, uh, but that's a lot he's getting. So you might think, okay, he's going to, you know, have a pretty good shot at this base, but you got to keep in mind that at Town Hall 9 especially, air defenses are not necessarily the main threat when you're doing an air attack. Um, and that's just illustrated by the, the fact that people often put air defenses on like the perimeter of their base and put like their wizard towers in the middle, which just shows that's a, a good, a good valid way to build your base because air defenses, um, they can be a problem, but they also can help the attacker by setting up Lava Hound positioning. So with this plan, um, he doesn't even end up getting this Archer Tower taken out. So what he's doing is he's leaving up a bunch of air targeting buildings with no air defenses around them. So there's this uh, Archer Tower Expo. Um, this Archer Tower over here is still up. Um, these over here are going to still be up. I think the queen actually might go around and get them, so those might go down. But um, really, and there's a Tesla farm in this area too. But really, he's leaving up. Once he gets past this air defense, um, as he comes through, let's back up a little bit. As he comes through with his uh, air part of the attack, once he gets that air defense taken out, then he has, you know, some expos, archer tower, archer tower, these kind of perimeter wizard towers. He has a lot of stuff to deal with, and the Lava Hound is not necessarily just going to run for those defenses. I think his Lava Hounds actually do pop relatively quickly. He doesn't have any spells to kind of propel his balloons along. So one thing you want to take a look at, and we'll take a look at the attack too in just a moment, but one thing to be really careful about is even if you're getting these air defenses, that's fine, but if you're leaving up a lot of space around the air defenses, you you might not be getting that much value so it's, sometimes it's not worth it to take out the air defense unless you're getting the archer towers and the wizard towers the expos the teslas all that stuff around it um, because if you don't you might just make yourself uh, put yourself in a situation where your lava hound's not going to tank properly and your balloons are going to go down especially if you're investing a lot of spells and you can't use those spells in your balloons uh, your balloons are going to be very vulnerable if there's no lava hound tanking for them so keep that in mind let's take a look at the attack and see kind of what happened so yeah, here is Jay Mune's attack. Uh, you can see he has the uh, the 
Zap Quake queued up to take out that one arrow defense right here by the queen. Uh, but starts off with his queen at the bottom here. This is a good queen walk. You know, it's getting two arrow defenses. I think if it was... If he could have gotten, you know, defenses around it a little bit, or maybe just got a little bit more for it, it might have gone better. But really, he's mainly just getting those two air defenses. I guess a few other buildings in the CC troops, but that's not a whole lot of extra. Uh, so I just didn't quite work out for him as you, uh, as I talked about earlier. But anyway, goes ahead and drops his queen down, uh, lets her step up, take out some of these buildings. He'll wall breaker her in in just a moment. There's the king, a few Valks to help out as well. Um, just make sure the queen does go down has a wizard backing it up um, but doesn't get that archer tower just really much just getting the queen really uh, so nothing extra there either um, the healers I think took a few air traps but they're doing okay so far the queen will step up I don't think she can reach that archer tower but she will get the air defense taken out and uh, there's a golem in the CC which she'll engage in just a moment um, as soon as that air defense goes down and she steps up into range so yeah everything moving along here there goes the golem I believe he drops down a rage he might have lost Lost a healer. I'm not sure. I can't really tell how many healers are left up. Uh, but either way, the rage will keep everything up. The queen will take out that golem. Then she'll step up and get that air defense taken out. And from there, he'll start in with the uh, air part of the attack. Um, so, yep, that golem splits. And then a few more shots. And it's going down. And yeah, right here, steps up. Takes out that air defense, and I think she actually goes in a long kind of circle right here. As soon as that air defense goes down, she doubles back for that wizard tower, um, which is probably okay. There's no need for her to go into the base. She probably would have went down, although he does have the ability, so maybe she would have got the expos. I'm not sure about that. Sends in that first Lava Hound, taking a ton of damage. It's already busted, even though it is a max hound. Uh, so things are going down really quickly, and without any spells, there's no way to propel his balloons in. So that's another thing I didn't really talk about. He does have the one rage, but um, besides that, didn't have anything for his uh, balloons. The hounds go down really quickly, and then right here, you can see he's going to suffer because all these defenses, um, especially these two archer towers and that expo, are spread out. And although there's no air defenses around them, the balloons have such a long travel time with no haste spells or anything, they're not going to get the job done. Uh, the queen's going to go down on the outside. I think he, he does remember the ability, but the expo is right there for when she comes back out of her phase and uh, yeah everything just goes down so like I said guys taking out the air defenses isn't necessarily the most important thing um, sometimes they actually help you uh, just by virtue of keeping your lava hounds in the in the right in the middle of the base uh, in between a bunch of defenses tanking because if there's no spot for your lava hound to latch on to your balloons will go down very quickly especially if you don't have any spells to keep them moving quickly so both the expos end up being up let's take a look at the attack that got the three star it was a very innovative plan uh, to get the job done so Puka does something that I really like here, um, very innovative plan, comes in with uh, same king right here just for the trade, he might use a few Valks and a wizard as well, so pretty much the exact same thing, takes out that queen, but also he wants to do an air attack and he realizes the golem is in the CC, so he decides he's not going to send in a kill squad or a queen walk or anything like that, he's just going to kind of take out a few buildings and do a heavier air portion of the attack and not have to worry about that golem. What he does do is he identifies that this, um, not really, there we go, this uh, air defense right here <clears throat> is not surrounded by a whole lot of defenses. It's kind of in an island. And uh, he kind of takes the risk about there being no giant bombs there. Or actually, no, my bad. The skeleton trap can't even trigger giant bombs. He knows there's no Teslas there. Um, there are a few defenses, but that wizard tower, I think, is going to be out of range. So he goes ahead and drops down the skelly trap, or the skelly spell, that is, right there on the air defense, gets it taken out. I think he might have two skeleton spells. I forget exactly. We'll see when we take a look at the attack. But whatever the case, it's much cheaper than a Zap Quake. Only takes up a few spell slots rather than, than the full five that a Zap Quake takes up. And then you might be thinking, okay, well, he's also leaving up, you know, two defenses right by that air defense. He actually drops down his queen right here, lets her take out these two defenses. And uh, that just allows him to avoid the problem I talked about with the last attack, which is taking out just the air defenses, but not the air targeting defenses around it. 
What he does is he gets that air defense and also gets those defenses in the area. That way, this part of the base is completely out of the equation for an air attack. Doesn't have to worry about it at all. And that's how you want to do it. If you're going to take out a segment of the base, you don't want to just take out those air defenses. If you can, uh, try to take out the defenses around it. Doesn't always have to be that way, but that's a good rule of thumb uh, because a lot of people wonder why their air attacks go south, and that can be a reason uh, some of the time. So from there, uh, he has you know an, one air defense, I think. Yeah, one air defense, the a few defenses in this area, then the queen. So a lot of the base is still up, but he has almost all his spells in much more troop space. Uh, so he can come from the top here. These three air defenses kind of have a nice progression for his lava hounds to let them move through the base and tank at each point along. Along the way, he sends in balloons at the top initially, then kind of reinforces down, down towards the bottom. I think there was a few air traps down here that took out the healers, so he just sends in one balloon to soak all that up, then uh, sends a few more in later to take out these defenses. Uh, just an all-around good attack. Let's take a look at it, and we'll wrap this up. So here's Puka's attack. Um, you can see he has quite a few uh, more Lava Hounds. I think he actually has four Lava Hounds total, uh, which uh, the last attack had two, I believe. So he can really load up on those Lava Hounds. And he has three Skeleton Spells, so correction. Uh, also, one thing to keep in mind, he dropped down the Queen um, to tank for that Wizard Tower. So that way, if the Wizard Tower was in range, which it would have been if the Skeletons on the uh, near side of the air defense the queen is tanking and it goes down so that way he doesn't have to worry about the splash damage as well as these two defenses are on the queen uh, so sorry about that i forgot to mention it just to help out those scouts and spells it drops down the queen to tank for those defenses and uh, honestly he might not have even needed all three but you know people have been using the skeleton spell for that long we don't know how powerful it is exactly it's hard to tell um, we can't quite approximate that so just on the safe side drops down three and the air defense goes down fairly easily it might they might get that air sweeper actually no they won't get the air sweeper it looks like or will they yeah they do get the air sweeper not that it mattered because it was pointed out towards the direction where nothing's left up but still you know kind of shows how powerful those skeleton spells are so nice uh cheeky little thing there uh gets the defenses with his queen in the air defense with the skelly spell Goes ahead and drops that balloon down, like I said, to get those traps triggered. The king for the for the queen trade. And then here he goes. Look at how many spells he has for his balloons. That way the lava hounds aren't gonna sit there and you know take as much damage. Uh coming in with the lava hounds. The first one pops fairly easily. There goes the second one coming in. That air defense goes down. The third one going for that next air defense. Um, that Yeah, there goes the second Lava Hound popping. You can see these haste spells just leading the balloons deeper into the base. Final Lava Hound making its way in. That sweeper is a bit of a nuisance, but he does have the haste plus balloons cutting across the middle, which is always a good thing to see. Um, at this point, not many defenses left up. He has some back-end balloons for that Wizard Tower, which is great, as well as the Archer Tower, and even a haste spell to move them in even quicker so really overkill on this base here these last two lava hounds i think that one will pop but the other one won't uh so yeah that was actually really close to popping but doesn't quite pop not that it mattered has plenty of troops for cleanup probably could have used a few goblins up there to be honest just to take out the storages in the town hall but he has plenty of time either way so that's kind of splitting hairs awesome attack to puka um, innovative, like I said, and really guys, just to re-emphasize one last time, main lesson of this base destruction video is on these air attacks, you got to think beyond the air defenses, the queen, the CC troops, kind of the old-fashioned way of thinking. Those are what I have to take out, then I use my lava hounds and balloons on the rest of the base. Doesn't quite work that way, not quite that simple. you got to think what's tanking, because um, those air defenses can be helpful to you uh, in terms of keeping your balloons alive if you have enough Lava Hound health to tank there uh, because they do keep your Lava Hounds in a central position on the base. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind if you can use the Skeleton Spells, if you can avoid uh, luring the CC, if you know there's a Golem or a Lava Hound or some Valks in there, you can avoid having to even deal with the CC troops. And as always, an easy Queen trade makes this easier as well. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I Sectatron out.